Quarter past eight. All the food is on the table. Just cracking open the bottle of wine, which hopefully is good. I'm wearing Michael's top, by the way. It's because it's comfy. Oh no, I'm going to write after that. Woo! That's the noise. Thought we'd chat about ourselves. Yeah. As we eat, just in case anyone is curious. I've had to rearrange a bit. Hope that won't move now. I've had to rearrange yeah. the camera slightly because it was just moving around a little bit. Now it should be fine. Should we cheers? Cheers. It's a nice evening. So we're going to eat and chat. Do you want bread? Yes. After this Please. one? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I'm going to have knives either, so. No. And try not. Thank you. I won't be wasting any space in my stomach with nuts. <laughs> Eating the good stuff. I like. That's great. We've got a whole packet to enjoy. Mm. More for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where were we born? It's the first one. Born? Found some stuff online and also we're just going to see what pops up in our heads. I was born in Leicester in the East Midlands in Leicester General Hospital. Pretty standard. Nothing that interesting, but I am a twin. I have a twin. That's interesting. I have a twin brother, but we're not identical, so that's a bit uninteresting. We have the same eye colour, the same hair yeah. colour. No, I mean, you definitely look like brothers, but I would never. Yeah. And we're the same height, we're both tall, but we don't really look like each other. I would never have said you were twins. Yeah. How about you? I was born. Oh, this should be a test. <laughs> <laughs> it should we did be, actually although talk about we this actually did this exact same question um, a couple of days ago. I was born, wait, I think St Helia in Sutton, which is in the south of London, kind of Surrey area. I actually lived in Spain for a year. That's interesting. Little fact. And then I've kind of just been around Surrey area. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> and now my family's back in Sutton. So yeah, and I'm actually at uni at the moment. Yeah, I was born in Leicester, but at the time my family were living in Uppingham, which is a really small town in Rutland. And Rutland is the smallest county in the country. And that is basically where I'm from. I grew up there. I have a little fact. Just the little, facts out. little fun fact. This is not a cinema. There's not a bowling alley. No cinema? No. Not in Oakland. We'd have to sad. go to we'd have to go to Leicester for anything like fun to do like that. Yeah, because yeah. I'm now twenty six, so and I am 23. Mm -hmm. So, three years between us. Yeah, you're like a few years younger. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then we can, we're like really silly together as well. Like, yeah, you, you have to be. You have to have a bit we've of got a childish a bit of nature at times. Like yeah, we're serious when we need to be. Yeah. But we also have a childish side. I used to be obsessed when I was in primary school of putting crisps in my sandwich. I don't know why, but it was like a thing in our school to just like make the biggest oh, sandwich yeah. possible. So we would get like sandwiches <laughs> I from, imagine you from home. That. It would be like ham sandwiches and like cucumber or whatever in it. And then we used to get like Monster Munch, which is like the thickest crisps, <laughs> and put Monster yeah, Munch I inside monster of munch. our sandwiches. And then put the other sandwich on top of it, so we'd have like a double stacked sandwich with monster munch and try and get our mouths around it <laughs> when we were like eight years old. I did, I always had a packed lunch because, I don't know, like I always felt like school dinners were cool because I never got to have them, but then they're not great, are they? But it was quite expensive because you had to pay for me, my brother, and I have an older sister that was two years mm. above us, so she had three kids to pay for. And the best thing about school dinners... And we never had, I don't think I had that. Was turkey twizzlers. I knew you were going to say that. Which, if you're around my age, like 20, actually. 26, Apparently you'll know you'll back. know what turkey twizzlers were, and you'll know that they were like the most divine school dinner <laughs> that was in pretty much every school in the country. And that's why you don't like Jamie Oliver around that time, and that's why I hate Jamie Oliver's cuts. <laughs> he... So yeah, where did we meet? That's mm. your next question. So we met mm -hmm. in Clapham at Clapham Junction Station. Whoa, 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 whoa. Start from the beginning. Start from the very beginning. Okay. How oh, we must. So, okay. So, I kind of recently became single in the year that I met Ellie, and my friend at work was currently also 
just out of a long-term relationship with his girlfriend and basically just looking to have some fun so we went out quite a lot and mm. we, la, la, la. and we started going on dates with, <laughs> with girls and then my friend Seb told me about this app Hinge which is if you don't know what it is it's basically like Tinder but it's like a more in my opinion a more well-respected kind of app than Tinder is. Tinder is a bit mm. sort of sleazy or at least it's got that Not that Tinder's reputation. not fine though, like people meet their like wives future and stuff. wives. Yeah, my Tinder. colleague at work met his wife on Tinder, so there we go. Anyway, so I, then I came across Ellie on Hinge and I liked one of your photos. Mm -hmm. I thought she looks attractive and then yeah, then I liked one of your pictures and then obviously you got a notification and then checked out my profile and checked it out. What was your verdict? What was my verdict? <laughs> what was your verdict when you saw him? I was like, he's a bit, he's a bit handsome. You batted it back. He liked my, my picture, and then I was like, right, you can start the conversation then. So I did. And then yeah, we got chatting. We're like, hi, how's your day been so far? <laughs> Very boring. So pretty soon after I messaged you, I just gave you my number. You and was did like, not beat around the bush. I was just like, there was like five or six messages exchanged, and then I just sent her my number saying, "If you want to go for a date, here's my number. Let's organise something." And then we organised a date to go to Clapham Junction, and that is where I, think I we met. Were, I, I was so shy though, like I'm not good at this kind of stuff. <laughs> and then we went to the Four Thieves, which is a pub there, which I would highly recommend if you're ever in Clapham Junction area. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Because they've got an upstairs bit as well. That's like. Um, crazy golf, there's that crazy golf area. Mm -hmm. There's what was that other thing? That like horse racing. It, it was such a good date though because you can just you can sit and have a drink and chat. But then also there's activity. Yeah, so we, we sat downstairs in the pub area and we had a drink and we got to like know each other, chatted a little bit, and then we went upstairs and played some of the games and like the arcade games and stuff and yeah it's great, perfect mm -hmm. icebreaker. We were just staying on so well we didn't really wanna end it. <laughs> We went to be at one. We did. But it was so because <laughs> it started getting really busy. It started turning out turning into like a small club. And we were obviously like we just met. We were on a first date. But and we were like, just kind of got, laughing at the situation. It got like rowdy. We were just sat there like. Oh, I can't. <laughs> and I kissed you because I didn't really have the balls. I don't really make it. Yeah, every time moves. you did that, I was like, oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. And I was going to kiss you, but I just got scared of the rejection. <laughs> so yeah, you made the first move, the first kiss, I'll admit that. You did, yeah. Um, let's try these. Yes, let's... Pizza The long-awaited verdict of the pizza flavoured fingers. I'm excited. Bit of Elvis. Let's try it on. Tomatoey. Very tomatoey flavoured. Oh, they're good though. Mmm. They are nice. They're not the best Pringles I've ever had, I don't think. But they're very good. Oh, That's yeah. what I like when they're ridged. I like ridged cut crisps. Oh. Let's try it with a bit of hummus. Oh, I love hummus too much. Interesting flavour. That tastes different. Yeah. That has got something else in it. What is that? It's nuts. It's like a it tastes like walnut or something. Do you know what I mean? Like ground nuts. Mm. Afterwards. It is good though. When you first put it in your mouth, it tastes like chocolate. I'm not getting that. Eat another crisp and just think chocolate when you put it in your mouth. I'm not getting that. And then the aftertaste is like nuts. Oh, that's really mean a little bit. It does, isn't it? Oh my god, I can't get that out of my head now. Also, it's getting dark, so the quality is not. It is getting dark. Let's turn a light on in the room. Oh, in that case, actually, could you bring me the Sprite? Because that's in the fridge. I want something cold that's not like wine. Something that I can down. I can down one still. That's so funny. We've saved the room in the fridge for the water. Uh, not for the water, for the alcohol. And not the water. <laughs> These are where our priorities lie. It's right if I just drink out of the thing. Oh, I love this song. Very good one. It's just a little Spanish number which I didn't recognise, and now he's doing. What's it called? 
So, oh yeah, uh, something stupid. Something stupid, yeah. Great song. So yeah, in terms of what we do, do you wanna? Yeah. So I work, and I have now been working in the same place for the last, I think it's three years. Um, but I work as a video producer at Deutsche Bank in London, which is really cool. I really enjoy my job. And yeah, I've been there now for a few years. And basically when I first went there, I was like a junior video editor because I was only like 23 at the time. No, yeah, 23 maybe, 22. Um, and I'd only had one job before that, which was working as like a junior video editor at a startup company. So it was like very small. Um, and then Deutsche Bank gave me this job to be a video editor for them. Um, so that was really exciting. And then after a couple of years, um, I basically moved to another role in our same team. I'm now the producer. Mm. What about you? Hi. What's your life story? So I um, actually dropped out of uni the first time I went. I did Spanish. But I realised I didn't actually enjoy studying it. So it wasn't just the language, it was like the history, the art and all of it. I stopped doing that, decided that it wasn't the best thing for me and then I got a job as a carer, a carer for children with brain injury and really enjoyed that, was there for two and a half years and then decided that I wanted to become a children's nurse so I'm in my, well I'm going into my second year of child nursing in September. Okay so we're going to do quick fire questions. I'll ask these ones for you and then you find ones for me. Okay. Yeah? Cool. Right. Dog or cat? Dog. Uh, phone call or text? Text. I hate picking up the phone. Me too. <laughs> We've been learning that when way. When anyone ever phones me, I just we leave it. We barely ever call each other. Like, we FaceTime, but... When you call me, I'm just like, what the hell? Why is she showing me? Like, it must be important. <laughs> or urgent. <laughs> Literally, the last time I phoned him was when I lost my dog, and I was like, help me! There you go, yeah. Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Twitter's so much. Facebook is dead now. <laughs> yeah. Twitter is where it's at. Cake or pie? Hmm, that's a good one. I'm going to say pie, because I prefer savoury food. And I, when I think pie, I associate that with being like you know, a steak pie. Oh, see, I associate this with being sweet because they said cake. I know, but if I say pie, then I'm going to have sweet or savoury. You can't have a savoury cake. Mmm, hamburger or Mexican? Well, it says hamburger or taco, but yeah, mm. Mexican. I would say burger. Because if I was given the choice about which one I would have, like, or never have for the rest of my life, I'd rather not have the heaters but still be able to eat burgers. I'd say burgers. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, first question. Pop music or rock music? Pop. Stuffed animals or dolls? Stuffed animals. Dolls can be creepy. Pancakes or waffles? <gasps> um, probably pancakes. Okay. Because I feel like you can have more on them. Uh, morning or evening? Evening. Yeah. I'm not a morning, not a morning person. person. <laughs> he doesn't even know what morning is. Theatre or cinema? Ooh. Do you know, I'd go theatre. I love a right. show. I was hoping you'd say that. And I love, I just love the atmosphere of being in a theatre. Me yeah. too. Like it's a cinema, great experience. You, you can just watch a film at home. Piercings or tattoos? This is interesting because you have neither. <laughs> I don't have any piercings on my body at all. <laughs> that is quite strange. If I was to choose, is it just like what I would get myself? Or yeah, other people? what you would choose. Before I'd get, get my ear pierced before getting a tattoo. Okay. Fair so enough. yeah, I mean, probably piercing, but I'm not okay. really fast like E either, to be honest. <laughs> uh, swim in the pool or in the sea? Pool. Yeah, we both agree on that one. Good point, no? Yeah, I've not really had a lot of mine yet, but it's nice. I didn't enjoy it. Fun fact, my call got me into Wine. She loves white wine, so. I think it's pleased your mum more than I'm into it now. now yeah, has, oh, she, she loves her wine. <laughs> Every time we're around, she's like, top up, top up. Right, last one. Pasta or pizza? <gasps> oh my god, that's the best one to end on. Because I was going to say pasta, because you could do more with it, but then also you can have loads of different toppings on pizza. What would you say? If I had to choose pizza. Good one to end it on. Very good. Well done. See ya. See ya. <laughs>